Uh, do we have time to do All Aboard? All Aboard. Rosie O'Donnell's Gay uh, Cruise. Why? Why a gay cruise? I don't know. Do you want to look at a bunch of guys holding hands? Let them have their own cruise. All right. I yeah. agree now wholeheartedly. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a gay cruise. Yeah. As long as you know that you may be oh, going okay. on a gay cruise. This if wasn't they, just uh, on some boat that nah, other people were going to be on. Supposedly Rosie O'Donnell took it upon herself to rent out an entire cruise ship. How much money does that brought in? I have no idea. So she's got to she be worth a million dollars. I'm sure she didn't rent it out You're herself. a little more than that, Jim. But she got together with one of these cruise companies and said, look, I want a boat for a gay cruise. I think I can fill up the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. And she did. She certainly did. Yeah, it would be a different story if you're just going on thinking you're... <laughs> thinking you're going on a cruise and it's the, you know, the like, Rosie oh, O'Donnell man. gay cruise. I wish my uh, travel dude freaking yeah. told me ahead of my time. My agent seems to have made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm here on my cruise ship and, uh, oof, some of spiky haircuts and girls in flannel. Something's a little different here. There was, uh, it was her, her theme with this thing was uh, family. It wasn't just gay cruise. It wasn't called a gay cruise. Right, right, It right. was all about family. And uh, I've never seen so many black, Asian, Mexican mixed children with these gay couples. Well, that's why I think we're playing the audio because... Oh, man. This is why I'm playing the audio. You guys may have your own reason why we're playing this audio because I had no idea half this shit was going on. Wow. So it's kind of it was kind of an education. I don't know if it was a good education, but it was an education. You know, a lot of people have an image of gay people as being single, and they go out, have their gay sex, go home, and uh, cry on the pillow about how they've disappointed their parents. But it seems that there's a lot of these couples, and they want children. They want to raise families. And this boat was loaded with guy-guy, girl-girl couples that are planning to have kids, have kids, planning to have more kids, using oh, man. the gay guy's sperm to impregnate the lesbians and make babies to give to this couple. You're spoiling a lot of this stuff. Am that's I? Okay. God damn it. Because I had no idea that was yeah, going on. Yeah, I didn't know all this was going on. I didn't know they were trading eggs and trading sperm. Dude, and... it's amazing. <sighs> right there on the ship. See, the lesbian <laughs> couple, they have the eggs, and the gay guys have the sperm. Yeah. Who knew that they were swapping? They're swapping the stuff that they don't that disgust them, the things that they don't want to get near with the actual gear. They they're 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 swapping their their flawed DNA back and forth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. But but that those are the lucky ones. Those are the lucky ones. And then we learn about the adoption thing, and because the adoption thing is huge. There's a clip of the adoption seminar, I guess. Yeah, and then Is we got that in there. Yeah. Well, because it was it was a gay cruise, family oriented gay cruise, but then there was like, uh, yeah, like you said, seminars and stuff. Seminars on can, adoption. Where they can and... learn about uh, having their own kids and learn how yeah. to adopting and yeah. I don't don't know. blow it then because uh, and you then they just have play a, the clips. Yeah, and then they have a gay comedian on the ship. Of course need, they do. Then you need your gay themed entertainment. Rosie gets up there and addresses the crowd, and then the gay uh, comic. And I gotta say, ship comics are amongst the funniest comics you're ever gonna see. They're just a little too edgy. I don't care for a lot of that <laughs> dangerous water they tread on. All right, so here's uh, the first bit of audio from the uh, All Aboard special that uh, aboard. Rosie O'Donnell did on the toot, gay family toot. cruise. <laughs> Crews that was raked first rate, even though they were really great, had a clientele only straight. But today, you can camp it up, don't be shy, cause we welcome each gallon guy. Oh, you like that, don't you, faggot? I wish I knew how to quit you. Look <laughs> around, what a ship. We're beginning a fabulous trip. Fabulous. Lots of pals. Bunch of shit dicks. <laughs> Balls across your Get noses. Swap 
the deck with your mouth. Too bad they can't walk the plank. <laughs> After you play craps on that cruise, you gotta clean your cock head off. Gazzada <laughs> Malanga! Here's a here's audio of a guy in the audience that wasn't paying attention. Just, oh. just wanted to go on a cruise and relax. Right. <laughs> Just like what? Uh, here he is after he uh, went into the um, the gym on the ship. Those men wanted to have sex with me. Oh, horrible. I wish I knew how to quit you. Yeah. I just don't like any cruise ship song, regardless. Oh, of anything content. could have been about uh, sex with beautiful women. Still awful song. Whenever people are running around, I despise musicals. Ah, today ah. their hands are flailing. They La -di -da. Just... Yeah. <laughs> All over the top. A big production. A bunch of people doing the same shit at the same time. <laughs> La -di da. Things are swell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard, a guy and gal. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they ought to say. Here's our song. <laughs> Things are swell. Things are great. Get a cracker. We'll all masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Last one to come is the lucky devil. <laughs> this is the uh, entertainment they should have had on the uh, cruise ship right here. I got it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo. Made it to the poop deck. Oh! Oh, motherfucker! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Made it to the poop deck. <laughs> uh, here we go. Preteen girls talk about their gay parents. We first had a dad and a mom, and then our mom told us, and then my parents got divorced. And my sister said, well, I'm never going to like girls. I'm always going to like boys. I think the hardest thing is constantly feeling like you have to defend your family, having to explain your story and having to be like the perfect model family to show people that you turn out all right. So it's sort of a lot of pressure, I guess, at the time. I was allowed to do like two Mother's Day projects and I, could, I couldn't do a family tree because my family wasn't considered a family. Aww. Mm, By the way, the hottest part of the whole uh, special right there. Two girls about, uh, what were they? 16? <laughs> Well, it says pre that up? Yeah. Family no, they weren't preteen. It says pre they were in little bikinis in the uh, in the hot oh, tub. The family tree is a bush <laughs> <laughs> with no fertilizer. <laughs> bush, almost. <laughs> well, I don't know where fertilizer came into that. <laughs> Can't fertilize the egg. Can't fertilize, you know. To, well, okay. A little stretch, I guess. I was trying. Stop nah. looking at the button. I like the right. button in front of you guys. Hold on, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, gay man breaks down talking about how pastor said having a kid was okay. Yeah. Oh. I, I'll never forget when we told our pastor what we wanted to do in terms of having pastor. a baby. And, and pastor and just... went right to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need the pastor's approval, though? I don't get that. Uh, they like to be religious. They like having some type of religion like they're accepted by God but when the, everyone knows. The church has been pretty <laughs> bad to gay people. I, yeah. I, I don't understand why. Unless it's like a newer... Yeah, like, why is that so important to you? Dude, I'm sure it's some kind of newer... It's the church of the cock. <laughs> You'd hope so. some kind of, What kind of pastor is, is giving his blessing on uh, you know, two guys getting married and having a, uh, adopting a child? And he just said that he said um he said <laughs> he said that um 
when, when we told our pastor that we were going to have a baby, that we wanted to have a baby, he said that that was wonderful and that that, that, that would bring more love into the world. And I just thought, wow, you know. I honestly believe that God was saying, you can have this baby. <laughs> you can act like a man! What's the matter with you? God was saying you could have this baby. People's into, you know, people are stupid. Gay, straight, we're all a bunch of dolts. I love when everyone tries to interpret what God is thinking. There's yeah. one side saying, God is, you're the worst friggin' thing walking the earth in God's eyes. And then he's saying, God saying we could have this baby. I get it. We just don't know. God ain't saying anything. He's if there is one, there ain't one. If he's saying stuff, if he's not, if he loves you, he hates you. He, but you want a little dick? Uh, is he God going to hate you for it? God, God ain't saying anything. God right. stopped talking a long time ago. He's just now watching. Here's what God you says. You think God's like a has-been, a one-hit wonder? He's just watching now. He's busy. He's watching. What's he busy with? I don't know, God's like, what? You from where? Oh, that's not, isn't that in the Milky Way? He's busy. There's a, <laughs> oh, okay. a bunch of other things to consider. A lot of, like a bunch of other planets of and projects. Of course. We're like old hat. God is just looking. A thousand years ago. God is just looking down on, uh, at us and kind of acting like Robin De Niro, I think. Oh, don't do that. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do bit. that. A little bit. A little bit. Right. Tease him a little bit. <laughs> He's just watching and commenting at this point. It's it's, it's a big just, joke to him, a big game. That's why he, he, God shouldn't even be brought into the he whole thing. He hears every, does he? And does he hear every prayer? Every, and he listens to every, oh, shut up. He's laughing. How do he do that? He's laughing and saying, oh, now they think the hybrid cars are going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> they think they're helping the planet. Right. Wait till they see what I got planned. <laughs> I'm going to fling a meteor into them. <laughs> End it all. They're uh, they're very happy that they're adopting children, and it was kind of creepy, not kind of. It was the creepiest thing I ever saw. Uh, two gay guys with this obviously adopted uh, young son uh, changing it on the deck somewhere, and you know, I'm open minded. I'm not going to say, uh, oh, there ought to be laws to stop. I don't care what you do, I, and I believe me, I care not of children anyway. Uh, but it was just to watch it. These two like really over-the-top gay guys changing a little baby. It was just kind of creepy. <laughs> I like that, though, just because it's like there's so many kids need to be adopted. It's like, I had to take them. Well, that's oh, what they're doing. Well, wait yeah. till you hear. That's what they're doing. Wait till you hear who gets, uh, gets they, adopted. Uh, they ain't picking up the Prussian <laughs> blue children. <laughs> right. They ain't picking up the little blonde-haired. Uh, <laughs> We're just saving that for a little later oh, in this conversation. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. There are a lot of people that aren't as open-minded to that as you think. Well, <laughs> Put it this way, it's a lot easier to go to the bargain bin <laughs> when it comes to adoption. They're going to the dollar store. <laughs> Definitely. There's a big, well, it might be by choice, so this is just a line of guys waiting for the Filipinos to come in. Well, well that could be too, but I think just... it's more like if you go to Marshall's and go to get that pair of pants where one leg's a little longer, because it's cheaper. <laughs> And easier to find. There you go. Let's uh, let's move on here. Rosie's homo hairstylist. This is what's written for me here, by the way. I think that's how he was billed on the credits. Rosie's homo hairstylist was overwhelmed. It's overwhelming to see all the children with gay parents. Yeah, that way it was. So many. As soon as we walked in, I just had this huge chill. We yeah, I started the too on the I dock. Just, tears came to my eyes. Oh. It's all about love, you know? <laughs> It's like the buffet for them. <laughs> Just children on a deck long table. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to join us on the promenade deck tonight. We're going to have a buffet that's going to feature children from 3 to 12. <laughs> and uh, the chocolate bar will be open after that. And don't, don't you. Don't forget to pick up a bikini teeny. Right. And, uh, <laughs> Just a teen. Hey, hey, hey. Teeny. Hey, bikini teeny. <laughs> bikini hey, teeny. Hey, I know what you're getting at. My uh, bikini teenies are even too gay for this cruise. <laughs> All right. I'll and, make you take it. And just in case you're wondering, we are in international waters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, no laws apply now. The laws of piracy. So uh, any screaming child running down the deck, if you could catch him, he's yours. That's right. <laughs> Can we say? All aboard. Toot, toot. 
Here in international waters, you take the age and multiply it by the longitude, and that's technically <laughs> right. the sexual consent of... Oh, age times depth of water times miles away from the uh, shore. Those are the rules we're uh, uh, living by uh, right now, and... Um, if you could just take the dicks out of your mouth for two seconds <laughs> while I make this, the rest of this announcement. You think the boat just quietly... Oh. I'm, I'm trying to remember this freaking reference, and I don't have it. You, do, you think the boat is just, you know, pulling out slowly and everything is quiet? Uh, maybe the scene just before in the Titanic, before it hit the iceberg, where everyone is very, like... Right, very quiet, wondering what the hell's gonna happen, gonna happen. and then it hits international waters, and then all hell breaks loose. The yeah. music starts up. And Festival! There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in international waters. <laughs> are you feeling hot, hot, hot? Yeah. <laughs> My broth is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> My ass on fire. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's wonderful. Moving on here. Uh, conga line. They're all attached. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like Legos. <laughs> Moving on. Here's Rosie speaking before the crowd. About two and a half years ago, um, Kelly, myself. And Greg, we're sitting having dinner. Oh, be. And I said, wouldn't it be great if we could do some sort of vacation package? Like, and Greg said, well, why don't we rent a cruise ship? And I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> How hard could it be? <laughs> oh. It's been really, really interesting because, you know, in every relationship, Kelly's theory is there's a flower and there's a gardener. I am the flower. No, you're not. What? She gardens. So things like, oh, for the mean? last two or three... Ugh. Is that a top reference yeah. bottom? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to garden. I mean, we've all seen Rosie and her partner. Would you ever think Rosie was the flower? Maybe she just trims her bush. That would be like the duty of a gardener, a good gardener. Oh, wow. What, what, what happened? Partner's very attractive, whatever her name is. Things like, for the last two or three months, I'm like, honey, I, I cut my leg to wear the band-aid. She's like, I am on the phone. They are booking a double penthouse. Can you just wait? Right. Everything was about the damn cruise. I started to get a little jealous, a little pissed off. She's like, do you think lesbians like peanuts? How do I know? I got to tell you, honestly, as we were checking in, it was very moving. It was very overwhelmed. I got all choked up at seeing all the... Beautiful uh, families, built of love, coming in to check on a party together. And a lot of people said, the Norwegian Dawn, that's the biggest cruise ship on the sea. Are you out of your mind? And I said, no, I believe. And uh, all of you, you believe too. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great time, and we'll see you this week. All right. Well, that sounds like fun. Sounds like a, uh, a blast for everybody. Like a great time. Uh, according to what's written in front of me, the next track is Dykes Cry Over Pregnancy Results. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a good one. This was uh, very, yeah. Very... They're actually taking a little EPT test right there on the, uh, on the ship because they had been artificially uh, inseminated. They're looking forward to having a little baby. See, this is where we could have had a good uh, Judy Gold could have been very instrumental in this because yeah. she went through this. Yeah, man. She's got two she kids. She went through it. I guess it was uh, artificial insemination, but she has two kids. She gave birth? I, I believe she did. Yeah, I'm almost Yeah, she almost positive she did. All right. Well, here's, uh, here's uh, a lesbian couple getting their yeah. pregnancy results. Very shortly, in an hour or so, we'll find out um, if we are finally pregnant. I would love to have the experience of having a child. You know, I, I want I want to have that experience. I'm more than happy to, to be in the supporting role and, you know, <laughs> very glad that my partner wants to take that role. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think if it is positive, we should hit the casino because that means I'm finally getting some luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Gotta find out. Okay. Finding out. This is Carrie. Can I help you? Hi, Carrie. It's Amy Courtright. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that it's negative. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Quit takes for nothing. understand why it's just I know you did everything right <laughs> get you in the hole get you in the hole that's terrific that's terrific I guess that adoption seminar today might be very useful <laughs> hey everybody we're all gonna get late <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible I'm... <laughs> it's impossible I'm... it's impossible I'm... Is that supposed to be sexy? <laughs> shame, 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 shame on you. It's impossible. I'm trying to tell you that. What do you want? You want the tears to come out of my eyes? <laughs> what is your problem, you insensitive asshole? <laughs> so wrong. Oh, it's awful. It's impossible. I'm... <laughs> oh, <good Lord. laughs> oh. Cha cha cha. <laughs> well, hmm. didn't happen. <laughs> no, not. just didn't happen. Well, yeah. well, uh, we have uh, audio of uh, the sperm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, it looks to me like the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. Here's, uh, here's the egg just waiting. <laughs> uh, just any, any time now. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's like the Maytag repairman. <laughs> we have uh, <clears throat> more uh, audio of the, the sperm. I'm scared of you. You bumbling incompetent. This is really sad. I uh, I got uh, I got audio of uh, the womb. I hate this place. <laughs> Nothing works here. I uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> um, hmm. yeah, I just want to see if that's tough. If anyone it's else is be unhappy here. and disappointing, mm. I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me look through the others here. Well, do we have any other? Uh, <laughs> well, that'd be good after. I don't have that one. I don't oh. think. I think Ant has that one. Ooh. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> you have it. No, I just got. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to play it after the audio. Here's the sperm. It's close. It's almost there. The sperm's going to make it. It's going to make it. It's going to fertilize the egg. It's... Ah! <laughs> Just short. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you blew it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Paul in Tennessee. Paul, what's up? Hey, man. Uh, my dad's a minister. I was adopted uh, as a baby. And, man, I, I think I'm kind of screwed up now, but I'd be really pissed off if I was adopted into a gay family. 
Look, I, I I don't know what that's like, but I gotta say, it beats being in a foster home. You you, you can't like when gay couples want to adopt, just let, let them take the kids. They're in foster home. We're yeah. paying for it. Let people want to have kids. Let them adopt kids. Yeah, but man, I don't know. I was adopted, like I'm saying, and it, it would be. I mean, things have happened in my life that kind of suck now because my dad was probably very uh, strict on me. But I don't know. Just think about how. <laughs> You wouldn't have a choice of, of whether or not uh, what people thought of you as a as a child. You don't anyway, yeah. though. If your dad's an alcoholic, or if your mom's a fucking uh, uh, the neighborhood whore, or your father beats you, you don't have a choice anyway. That's not as bad, though. Well, yeah. I mean, it depends yeah. on what he beats you with. If he fucking putting mushroom <laughs> right. prints on your right. face. Well, I don't. I, I'm just saying, I would be pretty pissed off. I, I just see a lot of craziness in the world and. Being the son of a, of a preacher, man, a lot of the stuff you're saying, oh. you know, it's kind of weird to, he to hear all yeah. that, what's going on, and all the fucking, just shit that uh, is going on in the world. The <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, thanks. That was uh, my boss. All right, thanks. Let's go to Tim in Jersey. Tim, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey man. What, what's up? They're on a cruise. It's all women. Don't they understand? They need cock if they want to get pregnant. It's not all women. No, it's a, they're, they're gay guys. And this oh, is gay guys. Well, maybe they should mix it up a little. They well, do. They, they do that. I don't have a clip of that, unfortunately. But um, we learned during this special, or whatever, that they're they're swapping. Yeah, they're swapping a little the, an egg for this. Yeah, they're making deals. They're making deals with each this other. Boat. They're going. All right, you will get a little sperm they, from you, and yeah, then she'll give you an egg. They showed a scene that uh, gay uh, uh, two gay guys ran into two lesbians, mm -hmm. and they were trying to on the deck of a ship. <laughs> yeah, one lesbian says to the gay guy, right, and they're trying to like negotiate. Yeah, like, look, I'll give you an egg, and you give me some of what you got. Right, and then we both get kids. There you go. That's what we do now. So then uh, here's some audio on the adoption process or they're educating uh, the, the shipgoers about adoption. Right. Your first problem is getting a birth mother that will surrender to a same-sex couple. Your second problem, adoption today is very expensive. Your average foreign adoption will run you between twenty-five dollars and $30,000. If you're willing to accept a child who, where the birth mother has a drug history, or if you want an African American child, ah. that will increase your chances. Increase your chances. Isn't that amazing? You could get a little broken black baby for next to nothing if you're a, a gay <laughs> gay guy. It's just like unbelievable, man. And uh Oh, those guys are facts. <laughs> 